I'm Dr. Kim Sage. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about the present but absent father. And this is part of my Papa Trauma series. And so I hope you will consider subscribing, clicking the bell, and that way you get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for your feedback and your thoughts. And please know how much I, I truly appreciate it. And I'm so excited um, when I see this channel growing. And so thank you so much. So this is really about a series on father wounds and father trauma. And this type of father is a father who was technically present in the home, you know, or in the relationship in some regard, but really they are emotionally absent. They are often incapable of being, you know, attuned to you, to being reciprocal in the relationship. They are often sort of, you know, workaholics and or disengaged. They're often very sort of avoidant attachment types who are focused on, a, um, you know, performance and achievement. These can often be very narcissistic fathers who have a difficult time with engaging in real, like I'm saying, reciprocity and emotion. And really at the core, it's true emotional abandonment because they're there, which seems like they're there, but they're not really there. These are the dads who people will say, you know, I never really talked about any of my feelings with this kind of dad. It wasn't safe or he didn't know what to say. He would get awkward. You know, he never cried in front of me. My mom would always complain to me that he wasn't enough for her emotionally. Oftentimes with moms like this, if they don't have good boundaries, they might have tried to make you the emotional partner because the dad was so incapable. And that can create that over-involvement in the parent state of mind for you, where you feel this sort of push-pull between wanting to get your own needs met by this father who can never really see you, and yet feeling overly connected to trying to fill the needs for your mother or your mother figure or your same-sex dad, right? And so at the core, it's this, he's there, but he's not really there. And this is also a hard one to unpack therapeutically because in many regards, you know, he didn't leave you, he wasn't completely absent, but he was never really there for you either. And so that often creates deep wounds around self-esteem and worthiness. What does it mean if my own father could never honor or reflect back to me my, to my, to me, my own needs? Oftentimes because this might be a narcissistic type father who gets external rewards from other places and things, he's only attuned to you when it's about you know your reflection of him, but it's never really deep emotional connection. And oftentimes it feels like when you do try to talk to him, if you do or confront him, you never really get anywhere because he's incapable of really having deep emotional conversations with you and being present with you. So he might even be in the room and act like he's listening or say the right things, but deep in your core, you don't feel seen or heard by him. And so I would encourage you, if this is your type of father dynamic, to do some work, as I keep saying, on your classic CPTSD symptoms. There's a very good chance that a dad like this had his own wounds, I'm sure, and that, you know, even if you try to do the repair work, you may never get it, although there are some that, are, that want to work on it. Some people have a range of limited emotional expression. And I do think there are more, you know, adults who are on the very high end at times, uh, perhaps the autism spectrum. And so it may, you know, they may struggle with that reciprocity. And oftentimes these are very like high level engineering, you know, kind of, kind of dads too you might see. I would say I see more of those than you might expect in certain dynamics. But it may have nothing to do with that, right? It could be all kinds of issues. And so whatever it is, this is a shutdown dad who's there but not there. And this is something that is worth unpacking in therapy or through books and reading on attachment. I would recommend reading about avoidant attachment if this is something that you're thinking is like, yeah, that's kind of how my dad was. I made a video here to understand more about that. But um, please know that whatever it is, you are worthy of healing and well-being. And I thank you for watching. Please stay safe and well and have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.